She's gonna shut up. It's not a phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was an interview. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> you know we've started, by the way. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's on It's great to have you guys from Valiant Comics. You're here obviously with Ninjak versus Valiant Universe. So you guys are going to have to tell us what it's about and who you guys are. That's you, Aaron. Yep. Okay, Aaron, director, and this is I'm his uh, dad. Sean, also We're director. Both the directors. Uh, Kevin and I uh, play Armstrong. I'm Chantel and I play Roku, the super villain. And Michael Rowe and I play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get a shirt. You gotta get a shirt. We gotta get it. Yeah, I want a shirt. Yeah, I want a shirt. No, you got you got a shirt. Probably our fault. They sent us like a bunch and we just haven't yeah. shirt. Yeah, you haven't given them back. Yeah. Yeah. That's my fault. Yeah, I got some boxes. You have a big box of shirts with his face on it? Yeah. I gotta have I gotta get one of those. It is it's my birthday! It's his birthday? No. So next time you guys are all going to come with Michael's face on. Next time I'm going to come with all their faces on my shit. <laughs> there you go. We deserve that. And then, um, so obviously it's about Colin King, aka Ninjak, taking on the Valiant Universe. So I want to know who is the hardest to fight for Ninjak. Tell them the truth. Well, uh, listen, <laughs> so far I've only fought a couple of them. But a couple of them are this big, and then some of them are even bigger. So, yeah, ask me that question in a couple of months. So size matters, is that what you're saying? Uh, not for Colin King, but for the actual getting tossed around in a I think size fight. is very important. <laughs> I think fight. size and expertise are yeah. really important. Yeah. And he's got to fight them all right in a row, so it exponentially goes down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like American Ninja Warrior with bowing characters. In about two and a half, about three weeks, uh, we square off. And I think that Aaron posted this way. He said, Kevin, you're going to wipe up the hotel room with uh, with Ninja. Spoilers. Oh, was that bad? Spoilers. Did I not say? Well, meaning in the fight. We all know fight. who ends in the long run because it's not, it's not Armstrong. It could be. Spoilers. It could be. Yeah. Well, this, this series is almost like old school UFC where you'd see who, you know, would win between the wrestler and the karate guy and stuff like that. So you get to see all the different disciplines match up. And, you know, they all, they all have a lot of information about each other because they work together. So I feel like Colin King has been waiting for this moment because he, he's really intelligent in the way he approaches fighting. And he knows sort of their kryptonite for each character and that's what you get to see as this all unfolds. Like just when you think he's down and out, he's got a little something up his sleeve. Yeah, he's got he's got a few hidden talents. Absolutely. And he's got cool shit. He's got really cool guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's the coolest stuff? I don't know. I mean I don't know exactly what we're gonna break out for the upcoming episodes. But the guy has got everything from like, you know, his armor can sort of uh, reflect light like the Predator and he's basically invisible. He's got like gloves and boots with, uh, you know, sort of these uh, 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 magnetic things so he can climb like Spider-Man up things. He's got, you know, unlimited gear. He's like Batman, Bruce Lee, Spider-Man, the Fonz, all wrapped into <laughs> one. The fun's is most lethal, probably. Yeah, that's me, that's me. <laughs> I've got a dirty hoodie. I've got a long trench coat. But he has super strength. But I'm really strong. Really and I've strong. been around a really long time. You also so have super drinking. I, I, I can, yes. Yeah, I'm a little yes. jealous of that one. Yes, I can put back. Kevin had to get really into character. I made him down all kinds of root beer, yeah. uh, ginger ale. Yeah. So you have to increase and, and, your tolerance for this job. <laughs> and. Uh, Aaron and Sean, we know you from Battle of the Sun, and you're basically used to pitting people, superheroes, against each other. So is that why you guys decided to do Ninjak in the Valiant Universe? Yep, yeah, they approached us to do, uh, Valiant approached us to do this based upon our series, and we thought, well, let's have some superheroes fight. So, and they kind of all started from there. Obviously, there's, there's a big narrative story, though, unlike the beatdowns, which are very much unto themselves. So we're going to follow Colin King as he goes through this arc of having to fight all his friends. And Chantal, we have to work, talk about that killer hair, because oh, it is yeah. crazy. I don't Thank think I've you. ever seen anyone killed with hair before. Yes, yes. I think it's a first, too. I mean, I have killer hair in, in real, Ooh. I've been told, but the rope your hair, way. the red, I mean, that's incredible. Did we, you worry that you, well, how you'd look in the red hair? Because not everyone can pull that off. Um, I don't think I had time to worry. It was such a quick thing from casting to actually you know, getting into 
character in the wardrobe. Um, so not really. And also, if you know these guys and the teams they work with, there's there's no worry in, in regards to post. You know it's going to be great, and it does look great. It looks fantastic. I remember having yeah. some hilarious conversations when we were doing that scene. First of all, she was really sick. You can't I was tell really by looking at the sick footage. That day. But yeah. we were doing some of this stuff. And you were like concerned that maybe you were going really big with it, and oh, then I right. was like, "But you, you got your hair's going to be moving, and your eyes are going to be like, like pointed but, over." Like I'm like, "But that that's all too, that's all so big. Like, do I really need to match it?" And everyone was like, "Yes, yeah. you do." <laughs> and I see that now. But yeah, the bigger the better. Yeah, the yeah, in the comic universe, right? Yeah. It did. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. Well, thank you guys. Um, I think everyone's going to be looking forward to this, but. For those who don't know the Valiant Universe, just give us one little snippet to look forward to. Aaron? Uh, <laughs> some badass fighting. It's just basically a lot of unique badass fighting from each character. Have you seen the characters for the first time? That was two, I took some of them. Sean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'd say great music, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Your great music. Well, yeah. <laughs> my great music. I think someone touched on the, the diversity of the fighting. And I'm really looking forward to that because the way that you fight is different than the way that I fight or, or the way that you fight. Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> and so it's going to be fun watching him go up against um, all of these. It's a lot like Game of Death. You go through different uh, fighting styles as, as you go up. Yeah. Wait, what's the question again? What, what, what should they look forward to? What should they look, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> well, you kind of just say what to look for. I, I can't give any score there, really. I, I think um, the, the funnest thing for me, what I look forward to is the camaraderie, the working with an amazing team. On camera, I think that will translate to. Yeah, and finally, I, I just think it's going to be it's going to be kind of a fresh uh, take on superhero stuff. We were doing it, I'm really proud of it. And I said it earlier, this is sort of like reminds me of an old school kung fu film uh, in that it's mostly action, but you really feel like you get to know the characters through the battles. Um, it's kind of like a video game in that way, and I think that's what people are going to be psyched about. Great. When when can we see it? <laughs> It's some, some sometime. sometimes you can see it sometimes. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Basically, see it. we've had uh, this year, <laughs> this year possibly, or the beginning of next year. The project is, is so huge and epic that that's why they haven't locked down a date yet because it's, it's just awesome stuff that we're creating. So, but it will be at either I guess end of this year or beginning of next year, or that's all subject to change. At some point, that is yeah. not today. It will come out. We don't want to promise you something that we can't back up. Right. But the rumor has it that's going to be late this year. 